This is Braids by Robert Munch. On Saturday, when Ashley was sitting at the breakfast table, her mother came in and said, Look at your hair. It's a mess. It needs a few braids. A few, yelled Ashley. You always put on million braids. And you pull on my hair and it hurts and it takes all day. No, no, no. My hair is okay. It's to just go and play. Then Ashley ran around the house screaming, Ah! While her mother tried to catch her. After they had gone around the house 17 times, Ashley's mother caught her, sat her on a chair, and started to braid her hair. Look at her running around the house. She's going crazy, 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 isn't it? She, she jumped over the couch. It took two hours because Ashley's mother braided her hair back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and up and down and up and down and up and down and round and round and round and round. Wow! When she was done, Ashley looked in the mirror and said, Oh, look, it's beautiful. It's wonderful. But it took forever. I wish you didn't like to braid my hair. She has a lot of braids, doesn't she, Noelle? Yeah. Ashley went outside and sat down on the front step. People came by and said, Hey, Ashley, nice hair. And Ashley didn't say anything. When Ashley's grandmother came by, she said, Ashley, what wonderful braids. But why are you so mad? It's that mother of mine, said Ashley. She likes to braid my hair and it takes all day. Some kids go to the mall. Some kids play games. I just get my hair braided. Do you know, said her grandmother, why your mother likes to braid like that? No, said Ashley. She learned it from me, said her grandmother. When your mom was a little girl, I used to braid her hair all the time, and it took all day. Wow, Ashley doesn't look very happy, does she, Noelle? <laughs> How come you don't braid your hair now? Her hair now, asked Ashley. Can't catch her, said her grandmother. Maybe both of us can catch her, said Ashley. Good idea, said her grandmother. So they went into the house and Ashley's grandmother said to Ashley's mom, look at your hair, it needs some braids. Oh, look at them. No, 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 yelled Ashley's mom. I'm grown up now. I have important things to do. No, 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 no. Ashley's mom said, now come on, sweet pea. I'm going to braid your hair. Ashley's mom ran around the house screaming, ah, ah, ah. While Ashley and her grandmother tried to catch her, they chased Ashley's mother around the house 17 times until they finally caught her. Then they sat her in a chair and braided her hair for three hours. It took three hours because they braided her hair back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and up and down and up and down and up and down and round and round and round and round. And round. When they were done, Ashley's mother looked in the mirror and said, Oh, look, it's beautiful. It's wonderful. But it took forever. I wish you didn't like to braid my hair. Then Ashley and her mother sat on the front steps. Ashley's teacher came by and said, My, what lovely braids. I wish I had hair like that. Let's get her, said Ashley. Get who, said the teacher. Get you, said Ashley. We're going to braid your hair, and it will take all day. Ah, yelled her teacher. She ran down the street, and Ashley's mom and her, and Ashley and her grandmother and all the neighbors ran after her. They chased the teacher around the block 17 times until Ashley finally caught her. They sat her on a mail back box and braided her hair. Look at everybody chasing the teacher. 
it took six hours because they braided it back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and up and down and up and down and up and down and round and round and round and round. When they were done, the teacher had a thousand little braids in her hair and she looked sort of like a porcupine. Looks nice, said Ashley's grandmother. Looks great, said Ashley's mother. Wow, said Ashley's teacher. I'm going to wear these braids to school. And Ashley decided not to tell her teacher that sometimes people just do not look good in braids. What do you think about that? That's the end.